What is the beyond dispute is that Gary Davis's long insistence on the inalienable right to travel anyone, anywhere, uh, prefigures the present-day immigration debate by decades. He's so out of his time, huh? It anticipates the issues of uh, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks founder, hold up in the Ecuadorian embassy. Uh, what about uh, Snowden? Americans took his passport off him. I just had to seek shelter in Russia. Uh, Gary Davis, he spoke at college campuses, he lectured, he wrote books. Uh, he seemed impervious to his critics. It's just, whoa. Uh, look, his voice is trained to reach the last audience in the back balconies of Broadway. He, he played Broadway. Um... Yeah, he would segue with utter relish into minutely argued. <laughs> uh, ideas, arguments for the need of a world without nationalism. Oh, for example, uh, the nation state is a political fiction. Perpetuates anarchy. Eh, the breeding ground. War. Yeah. Put it more bluntly, allegiance to a nation? Collective suicide pact. Well, the quest for a unified Earth, yeah, uh, he trained his sights on that very early. There were three underlying influences that blended. The first was his, uh, he grew up, uh, he was somewhat uncomfortable with the great privilege of his childhood. His grief at his brother's murder, World War II, and the horror, the horror of his own experience with a bomber pilot on a B-17 in World War II, firebombing those German cities, Brandenburg, yeah, okay, Child of Great Privilege. Yeah, Gary Davis, he was born in Bar Harbor, Maine. 1921, his father, Mayor Davis, uh, renowned society orchestra leader, was known. His dad was the millionaire maestro. He had over a 1,000 musicians working for him, 80 ensembles. They played presidential inauguration. Debutante balls, national conventions. He was reared in Philadelphia. Glittering milieu, where the family car was a Rolls Royce with a chauffeur. Family friends, Hollywood stars. Oh, yeah, Bob Hope's here for lunch. A young man who's considered unserious, had a roguish wit, no direction. Then, the United States entered World War II, yeah. Gary, he joined the uh, Army Air Force, and his brother, Bud, joined the Navy. Bud never came home. Yeah, he was killed. 1943, his destroyer, the Buck, sunk by a German submarine. Yeah. So, the death of his brother, and then his own dark epiphany during a bombing run over Brandenburg, Germany. He wrote in his book, My Country is the World, uh, yeah, ever since my first mission over Brandenburg, I felt pangs, pangs of conscience. How many bombs have I personally dropped? How many men, women, children have I murdered? Wasn't there another way? I keep asking myself, yeah. The other way he came to believe was to eradicate conflict by eradicating borders. So... November 1948, 
I was one year old at the time. Uh, yeah, he renounced his citizenship. Then he stormed the uh, uh, United Nations session being held in Paris, and he shouts out, We the people want the peace which only a world government can offer. Shouting out, acting up, murdered countless humans, uh,